Welcome back to the channel for another College TF review. Today we have another Star Wars The Vintage Collection uh, unboxing and figure review, that being of Darth Vader from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Now I'm not a huge fan of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, um, but they definitely made Vader look pretty darn awesome in it, and I'm really looking forward to getting this figure out of packaging. I got mine from All Time Toy Store. Um, you can check out their website in the link in the description below, and also be sure to check out their eBay site for more great Star Wars, Transformers, you name it, finds. Um, as always, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel to keep these reviews coming, um, and hit that notification bell if you want to stay tuned for the latest updates on the channel. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram uh, so you can keep up with my video reviews. So let's get straight into the packaging here for any card collectors, you know, typical vintage collection card, nice Kenner, really nice picture of Darth Vader there from the show it looks like really nicely done. I like how they kind of they, they just they accentuated all his details in the Obi Wan Kenobi show. They made him look really brooding, as Darth Vader should. Here are some of the other figures in the line, which I hope to pick up at some point. And yeah, let's get them out of the packaging. So again, sorry if I offend any uh, on card collectors here, but actually that was probably the smoothest one I've done yet. And now he is out of the packaging. Oh, there it goes. I'm done with that. So here's Vader. Very nice. He even comes with extra fists. Look at that. This guy is tons of stuff. Accessories are good. Squeeze him out here. And Vader is out. Oh, wow. He feels really nice. All right. Let's get the rest of these out. This time I do have some scissors. Scissors. Scissors will be helpful as long as I don't cut any of the figure parts. If I cut myself, that's okay. But the figure, the figure is important to not get damaged. All right, got the lightsaber out. One fist, come one fist. Fist out. Chokehold slash pointing finger, looks like. For either, ever you so sort desire of your Vader to be doing to your four other vintage collection figures. Come on, there we go. And the lightsaber, there is tape there too. I should just so it doesn't wobble around in the packaging, so it always looks nice. All right, all that out of the way, and there goes the rest of the packaging. Let's look at Vader, Lord Vader. Ooh, nice cloth cape. Let's get this all splayed out. So he looks as brooding and evil as possible. As Vader's should. I think I twisted around, there we go. We got a very nice cloth cape. High quality indeed. Uh, look, I mean, look at that. They even got like the eyes look kind of reddish. That's really, really nice. Really nice. Very nice, clean, slightly shiny effect on the whole figure. Nice details there on his chest and belt. You can see his armor and just clothing. Very nicely done. And so he does have like kind of two cape things. He has a cape, his actual cape, which is rather uh, quite large. So you can definitely get him looking pretty awesome. And then he also has like his skirt. And these are both cloth, and other than um, things like the shoulder pads here are a nice flexible rubbery plastic. So they should move out of the way. Let's take a look. Yep, there we go. So he gets the full range of articulation there out of the arms. You can do the full 360 at the upper arm, be it a little bit stiff, but you definitely can get the full range of motion out of them. Um, and then we do get a little past 90 there at the elbows. And then he looks like he comes installed with a trigger finger slash maybe you could use it as a choke hold, either one on that hand, and then he has, on this hand, it looks like a bit more of a like lightsaber hold kind of hand, just a normal hand. So we'll definitely swap one or two out here in the review, just to go over that. Then let's see, what's abs like? So he doesn't have much in the way of ab articulation. He does have a little rotation here, which is good. I mean, he is kind of robot-y in nature, so, you know. Not much nature, I guess, left in him. 
you can kick to forward very nicely. And let's see, backwards is definitely a bit hindered there due to the nature of the design of the figure. But I mean, you can definitely get him in a walking pose as he already is. Darth Vader doesn't really run, so you can actually do a full split. That's pretty impressive, Vader. And he does have upper thigh rotation there. Can get a nice knee bend there, a nice stiff joint. Uh, it's very nicely disguised behind his armor there. So nice, just past 90 there. And then we do get foot, can go back, forward, and rock to a very nice degree there. Almost looks like he's a broken ankle. But definitely great articulation out of this figure, as always with the Vintage Collection figures. Man, does he look epic. Oh, and then also head articulation, of course. He can look side to side and up and down. Manly looks down because he is tall. Let's get him standing here so we can take a look at some of those really awesome looking accessories. Come on, Vader. You can do it. There you go. Use the force. So we do get a, two different hands. So this one is like a pointing figure, finger. I think you probably could still, can you still slip a lightsaber in there? No, you can't actually slip a lightsaber in there, but very nicely sculpted indeed. Oop, get in focus. There we go. Um, I probably, will, I won't be installing this on the figure, so I don't really need him to be pointing. I want him to be choke holding or wielding a lightsaber, so. But you can have that option for a pointy figure. And then he also has a fist, which is indeed very nice looking. So let's go see how that integrates into the figure. So we should just be able to, let's see, do we have any fist articulation? I didn't really look at that. So the wrists of course do rotate and then this one can actually hinge up too. So that's very good for lightsaber poses indeed. And uh, the same thing out of this one too. It's a upward hinge or downward hinge either way. Now let's see if we can wriggle it off. There we go. Just pops right off. Uh, we can slide the fist on. There we go. Vader with the fist. I actually, that, that fist doesn't look bad, but doesn't look the greatest. Uh, it's something about the nature of the design. It just looks a little funny. Yeah, I'll probably, let's put the other fist back on. Again, you just wriggle it off, pops off very easily. And you can put other hand back on. There we go. I much prefer that hand. So there's the different hands you get, which I probably won't be using. Then we do get two lightsabers of the same lightsaber. One that is lit and one that has a little pin peg on it. So you can attach it to his hilt, to his uh, waist belt, which we'll look at. So this has been painted and sculpted beautifully. Silver and black paint throughout. This thing is so tiny. Very nice. Very nice. Now let's see. Where is that peg? There it is. There is a peg, or a uh, little peg hole there on his belt. And this should just peg right in. Come on, lightsaber. It is a rubbery belt, so it takes a little bit of force, but man, yeah, there we go. Complete Vader look there. The belt. Lightsaber on his belt. Very nice. And then he can, of course, this will look funny, he'll have two lightsabers here for a second, but should be able to wield his lightsaber. I am your father. Sorry, I had to. But yeah, that looks awesome. You can just pop this one off because it is now lit. Okay, come on. There we go. Vader wielding his lightsaber. Ready to strike down any enemy who opposes him. You can be choke holding with this hand. So there you go. That probably about does it for my review of Star Wars The Vintage Collection Darth Vader. If you like my review again, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next review. Again, still more Star Wars reviews coming, so stay tuned. See you in the next video.